um, call this uh, select board meeting um, to order at, at 4.35. Um, uh, this is part two of a um, data gathering session where we, uh, at three, we visited the property of Dave Calgary, um, at 559. And um, um, we will um, um, have a session where, where we have a dial dialogue now on, on the request. Um, are there any adjustments to the agenda? Uh, and assuming that public comments would be what we're here for. Um, what I'd like to do first is back up um, and share what I understand uh, is this, just the short history of how, where we are, how we arrived to where we are today. Uh, in the fall of 2021, the town received an application for salvage yard certification of approved location. Uh, that last part is known as COL, C-O-A-L, for the property owned by Dave. Um, the town sent out a notice to abutters. There was a site visit. The town created um, a document, with, uh, a COL document with certain stipulations and approved it. Um, but before it went to the state, uh, uh, the request with, was withdrawn by the owner. Uh, also in 2021, um, the um, secretary of the Vermont Agency of Natural Resources, the Environmental Division Salvage Art Program, brought a suit against um, Dave to Superior Court. In May of 2023, um, a court hearing was held and the judge ruled that both sides would meet to resolve issues. Um, this resulted in a stipulated judgment order, which um, details um, uh, items like reducing the number of vehicles, uh, and also gave um, Dave Calgary an option to apply for a new call with the town of Hartland. Um, just to make sure we're all on the same page, uh, this is a two-step process as we understand it. The, the town would, um, um, would decide to or to not uh, proceed with um, their part of the call process. Um, should the town approve it, then the state group that I just mentioned, um, the environmental division, would make a final judgment call on, on the permit. Um, uh, so I believe that's the background of how we got here today um, with, uh, with the new application that um, was made um, in June. Um, I'm sorry. You just shrunk the size of the salvage yard down this time. Well, I didn't say anything about the size, or you're saying that's what the no, stipulation. The first time we took in the whole building, remember? Everything like that. Oh, I see. Since then, yeah. we've got the used car. Yeah. So we've got a used car dealership. Right. Yeah. Uh, if, if, we have if we do. If we decide to go forward with a new coal, that would be considered that that um, there are multiple businesses, and what we're talking about is the salvage yard portion of those businesses, and and essentially the it's not a real salvage yard. It's going to be a storage space, basically. Um, uh, it is a salvage yard certificate that's being applied for. Right, but. We're not going to operate it like a salvage yard. We're never going to operate like a salvage yard. Okay. We're not going to start coming in and stripping stuff and tearing cars all apart and stuff like that. They're just going to be parked and we get to fix them. Okay. Um, and, and again, um, we as a board are not here. Nor 
um, to, to argue the state statutes. You know, um, we really are uh, like you, you know, reading them and being guided by what we read um, on that part. Um, so um, I, we don't have any land to butters here today. So I think um, um, I'll open up the, um, Jim, are you seeing any hands raised at all? Or? No. There's... Okay. okay. Um, I was there long before they were. That's why they're not here. Yeah. Okay. I've been there for 80 years. Started okay. business in 1964. Okay. Um, Alan and Dave, do you want to make any comments? And then there's maybe questions from my colleagues that we could put and start with you guys. Just, you know, just What's that now? Do you have any comments of that? Um, Stipulated judgment gave you a choice of eliminating all of those. Um, I don't want to the junk cars from the from the environment or to apply for the permit. We had one major problem that day in court. The judge said he was going to come to my property. Uh -huh. Okay, so I went to court. You know, dependent on that to happen. And he changed his mind, never came. Well, uh, as I understand it, he, um, his order, as I read the document from the court, is that he instructed you and the legal team from the Department of um, Environmental, Conservation. Environmental Conservation to sit down and work out what are not options for you. Um, it, it sounded to me like the judge was being very generous and, and giving you the opportunity to, to, to wrestle with those. Right. We, the major problem is nobody will step up to describe the used cars from the salvage yard. Nobody's man enough to stand up and say, you know, what's what? We've got the used car license. They said if it was a VIN number, there was a car. I could take any car out there and take the VIN number down, make out a registration, send it to Montpelier, they'd send me back number plates. So a used car dealer license is the same thing. Um, All the cars fall under your dealer license. Okay. Um, again, Dave, I, I, I wish I had great knowledge here, but I don't. Yeah. Um, well, so what we can only talk about is actually the sound of Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and it's not like we're growing, we're shrinking. Yeah, um, the stipulation uh, does require you to reduce the number of cars on the property. Right. Um, we're not in a position to go count those cars, but would you, I would just say you're doing in that regard. Yeah, but when they do the cars, they say there's 100 cars when there's not only 60. Um, so whether there's 60 cars or 160 cars, um, are, are you reducing the number? And they have a top, they have <clears throat> quotas per month in the stipulation, and, um, and, and they want receipts or something yeah, like that. Yeah, doing that. You're doing that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. The car, cars have left, loads of tires have left, Loads of junk kind of left. Okay. They've, okay. They've been emailed copies of the slips. Right. Then she writes back, she don't want the copies of the slip for that stuff. Well, when they came there and pointed it all out, they wanted it moved. Yeah. So that's what yeah. we get. Yeah, I, I just don't remember what I read in the stipulation, yeah, which right. I'm glad you got the slips and keep the slips. You know, who knows next yeah. time um, in that part. Yeah, we take pictures of the slips and send them right to them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I look at the agreement that the select board uh, back in 2021 um, had created, um, there, there, there was language in there for the fence for reducing the number of cars. Just Which like that. Just from the time you was up there before, it's a lot less cars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, 
I mean, I sold seven classic Volkswagen pickups for pretty near nothing. A lot of classic stuff I sold for pretty near nothing. That yeah. was really a shame. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure there's things you have that um, there's markets out there for them. Um, it's oh, just it's sad if you pay three thousand dollars for something, somebody stands there and tell you just jump. Yeah. And one dealer sells it to another dealer, but it wasn't jump until we ended up at my place. Yeah. Um, okay. I had time to work on it because if you look at those pictures when it's static. It was up in the woods. I had to cut the trees. I got piles of brush. I burnt quite a few. I haven't burned any for a while. You cut down the tree. You got to cut it up and remove the brush because you don't want to burn the brush by the car and let them all on fire. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then I had the RJ Cross Road from all these stumped out in area. So, right up just beyond where where we were walking, where the line would be going over that cell jet, that green area there. That was all stumped, so I got that so it's usable now. Okay. You know, because, you know, moving stuff, I got to move stuff up there and, you know, do what I got to do down there. Don't forget, we had COVID. No, immediately COVID after this all started. COVID didn't affect us, only affected us. Well, it, it affected us as far as traveling and going places, but not in their opinion, only the state was affected. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I have one question, Andy, and then please, uh, by the way. Um, it's not relevant to what we're doing, but are there three businesses now uh, that you would? They're all of his business. I'm going to have the selling yard. He has the used car. Okay. And the garage? He runs that. that. That's under your name now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. The okay. body shop, organic shop, the inspection oh. station. It's all one business. Yeah. Okay. Mandy. Um, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to go to the site visit. I was at work. So oh, I, was, I wasn't able to go to the site visit. So I apologize. How, how many cars are up there currently? About 60. There's 60 cars now? Yeah. And is that for both businesses? The, no, that's his. That's business. his. Okay, not the salvage yard. No, there'll be 10 or 15 cars in this salvage yard spot. So between both, there's about 75? No. no. All, all the other business. No. 60. I mean, cars are coming in and going out. I mean, there's customers' cars. I've got a number of cars registered. Do you want to know how many are unregistered? How many total vehicles? What specifically do you want? For how many vehicles are there right now? Are sitting on the property? Total, correct. Customers' cars and everything? Yeah, I mean, they asked me today how many customers' cars were there to be worked on. Right now, I have five. Mm -hmm. So, you can. So, I'm reading the statute just so it's clear. A junk motor vehicle means a discarded, dismantled, wrecked, scrapped, or ruined motor vehicle or parts thereof, an unregistered motor home not connected to water or sewer, or a vehicle other than on premise utility vehicles. And it says that they have to be registered within 90 days. So one of the things that, that I'm struggling with this is your definition of what junk for salvage is vis-a-vis -vis what's used for sale. And what you think it is versus what the law says it is, we're not even close. So to me, one of the things we need to agree to is that definition, because we're going to be back and have problems. Well, from what I understand, if you're working on a car, you can bring in your shop, work on it, you can move it back out, move on to another one and do the same thing. Sure, that car is registered. No. Well, yeah, it's registered to the dealer. But it's saying here for yeah, unregistered for a period of 90 days. All you we were just walking around up there this afternoon. You have a lot of cars up there that are unregistered for more than 90 days. They would be considered salvage. Uh, and I'm not trying to be a jerk here. I'm just reading what the law says. And that would be the stipulation if we were to do this. That you've got to follow that. How many vehicles can I have 
as a licensed used car. No, no, no. This is a salvage. You're looking for a salvage yard application. A used car application is not what we're talking about today. Okay, well, Can you, not, because we're not prepared to talk about that. I have no idea. If it's a salvage car, we're not worried about registering. That's right. But you have cars in the front that you say are used for sale. Yeah. That by law is salvage. How do you consider salvage? Because I went and looked at them. They're buried in the ground. They're about four inches into the dirt. They've been sitting there more than 90 days, sir. Well, they're just going to sign them up and move them now. Or, 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 they're going to or register them. They have registered them in the dealership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what vehicle? You might think, okay. I, I, Alan, I can, you know, I go up there. I mean, if personally, you know what I would do, do is we'll go up there and we'll, we'll put paint on whatever one of them we think it is. But I think the concern I have is what, what you think is used and what we think and the state thinks is used probably is different. And if we can somehow come to an agreement of what that is, it's going to go a long way with us helping you. But if we can't come to agreement, it's going to be difficult for us. Are you sure it's off the ground or was it just a deflated tire? <laughs> I think you can agree some of those cars been up there in the front lawn for more than 90 days unregistered. Yes. That's all I'm asking. That's all. And so the law says you got 90 days to register. So, so why, why would anybody get a used car license then? You have to tell us that. I don't. We don't know anything about the used car. We, you guys well, have he's, he's got the law. I don't. I'm not talking. I'm reading the law under junk cars. I'm not reading about used cars. You, you know, sell, but there, there's there's kind of an overlap there. So <laughs> you're making this really complicated, and that's what Phil was alluding to. Is you got multiple businesses up there. You know, and so we're only looking at one aspect of your businesses, which is the salvage. And that's the area where you're having problems with the state. And we're trying to figure out how we can, as you know, a taxpayer in town, how can we try to sort this out? The state came in and said there's 10 cars there that were saleable. <clears throat> and then if, if there were 10 cars there, but there Five, were more a, cars around there. A 500 SL Mercedes convertible. That sold for ninety-one thousand dollars, set there and not registered, was considered junk just because I let the plates run out. So where would that wind up? That black suburban set there was junk. That Dodge pickup. Well, let's right just now. stay. Let's stay with that Mercedes. Um, if, if, if where Tom is going, if we understand and we want to move forward together. You know, if you are part of the town and we're part of the town, then what I believe we're saying is that Mercedes would need to go on the salvage yard side of the fence. No, it isn't because it's all inspected and registered to the to the to the, to the used car business. I put a deal plate on it, got it right out of here. It, it has no front end to it. No, no wrong no, Mercedes. No, no, no. Okay. Black one well, he's talking about his black 500. Black one out. Not, not the silver. Okay, well, let's talk about the one that's in the yard right now. Yeah, that one. That one, that one would have to go into the salvage here. I got to put the headlights in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, I'm sorry. Thank you for straightening that out. I, I wasn't. Um, but he's, he's got a perfectly drivable black one that they said. I, I've seen you drive that. You know, that's not, you know, I was talking about the. That's so or whatever, whatever that model is. Um, okay. Um, so are you comfortable with that, Dave, that that falls underneath the, the classification of, for now, it's a junk, car, junk salvageable car that needs to go into the salvage area. Should you repair it, then it can come out for sale. Well, once we find out what we're going to have with space and know what we've got for space to use, 
in the meantime, we're still moving cars out. But what he's what he's wanting to make sure is that vehicles that look like that one that are yeah disassembled will be in the salvage yeah the be designated parked. salvage area. They'll be parked in that salvage area. Okay. Okay. But the That's front, good. The front row of cars there aren't going to be, you know, those put a battery in. We're not going to buy new batteries all the time because you know they don't last if you don't drive all the time. Oh, yeah. Again. This is this is where you, you, uh, yeah where it bothers me with because you're 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 you you say oh but I just got to put it. so I couldn't go there and start the car like if I go to Tony's used auto I go down there if I want to get a car right. I go inside down on Route Five right. they'll give me a key I go I start the car I can drive it on a lot right every down. single car down there we'll we'll just sit in the front there right in the front row like I'm just trying I'm trying to make a point. It's not that, let me get a battery, let me do this, let me do that. They're not there ready for sale. They still need work. And so what we're suggesting is, if it still needs work and it's not ready for sale, it stays in the salvage part. Once you've got it and it's ready to go, then you put it in the front. Okay, now, Tony doesn't have a salvage license. So you want to take your, the key. I'm getting back to your use. I'm trying to get you to... You're going to take the key to right out and start them cars up in the back of Tony's fence and run around under those trees, right? No, if I want to go in the front of his yard where front. you want to have your used car set. Trying to make a distinction. Now, when you were taking exception with that, what's, were you or was I misreading you? A vehicle for sale, used car, is not a brand new vehicle. Not, so not saying that. You don't have to go out there, and it doesn't have to be turnkey ready to drive off the lot. And how can be within reason that person says, I have interest in that, give a deposit, and then you bring it in, you get the new battery in it, you you check the brakes. Lo so lots how do we I'm not disagreeing. Then Alan, how do we differentiate between used car and salvage? What's the line? That's where we're waiting for somebody. For I, I would say something that is dismantled. It's in the uh, statute. Or, or, dismantled or, 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 or rusted out. <laughs> These cars in there aren't rust buckets. They were bought out of Connecticut because they weren't rusty. Right. Um, the, um, Back to the Mercedes as an example. Uh, are we, as a definition of a car that would go into the salvage section of the businesses, um, are we in agreement that that, would, that fits? That it's the salvage is a better term to use for them instead of junk. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's salvage. I mean, that's a, you know, that's a term to get stamped on the titles. It's uh, salvage. It, and but sal salvage is something where you can go in and you can register it and you have a salvage title. Right. Um, the, um, yeah, the, the agreement says salvage. Okay. Yeah. So what? And, and there would be junk vehicles in with the salvage vehicles also. <laughs> But the ones that are really junk, there are older vehicles there, like older Chevy truck stuff, that uh, we want to hold on because you know they've already lasted 30 years. They'll outlast a lot of the cars you're driving. <laughs> but those would be those would be in the air in in the salvage area, yeah. right? Right. Yeah, I think I think we're we're. Tom brought up is if you technically read that first that, that statute, um, it's basically saying throws in this 90 day period. Um, um, and, and that's that, that's that, that's part of the confusion that we're, we're seeing right now. The car sits in the same place for 90 days. Um, what category does that fit in? To within your business? I'll ask a question. The cars that are in the front now, in the used lot, mm -hmm. 
Are those do those cards generally have salvage titles? Most of them do. Okay. So by definition, doesn't that if it's a salvage title within a, a salvage car until it's ready to be sold? Their salvage vehicle registered and being driven on the road, registered and inspected and insured. But those so, cars would have clear titles, wouldn't they? Mm -hmm. the no, they have a salvage. They have a salvage. So, the only reason they're they don't have an issue with title on it anymore. Okay. The, the only reason they're salvage is because the insurance company wants to write them off. Like down in Connecticut, when we used to go down and buy them, I haven't bought a car since 2017 because they asked me not to buy any more cars. But anything that goes through the insurance company is selling. And they sell six to eight hundred cars a day down there. You know, and they have a hundred and I don't know, fifty salvage yards all over the world, even in Russia. Co park, auto parts. You can only put liability insurance on. So you can't ever collect. Right. Okay. Any other questions? The yeah. biggest question now is how ridiculous high defense has got to be. Um, and what defense has to be. Yeah, I, I think we would have to, as a board, we would have to. Um, we got to take into consider the height of the cars. Yeah. Um, it's not going to be like an excavator operating cars up in the air and all that stuff. Yeah, I, I think that's all work that we would have to do to figure and give that to you. Um, um, um. Yeah, and, and um, there, there's a lot of homework here. For the, the number of vehicles, uh, you know, what do we write in here that complements the fact that you are moving vehicles out and continuing your cleanup operation um, to not interfere with anything that the state has already sort well, of what, If we get the salvage yard as big as it, if we put all the salvage cars in there, Mm -hmm. And then the other cars sell it and get this behind us, then we can start working on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I understand the concept of where you're going. Um, yeah. That, if, you know, if you want, potentially, if, as I am thinking, there may be cars that you acquire that you put into the salvage yard. When the time is right, we start working on them to move them out as for sale. Mm -hmm. um, I, I bought them as a retirement plan, something I could tinker on. You know, I'm 80 years old. I could tinker on, sell a car once in a while, have a little spending money. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like somebody invested in the stock market or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. I've been in the car business all my life. So that's what I did. Right. You know, right. and they were cheap, I bought them. Sure. And you're good at it. There's yeah, no question okay. about it. You've been successful. I mean, no, we, we, uh, you're a business yeah. person in town. And, but and once, I, once I started this, see, I had a whole lot of junk up in the woods. It really wasn't mine. I had a record business, towing cars in, and I got to fix cars. He got to keep cars there, sitting there, put mm -hmm. storage on them. Right. So we went out of business, he didn't get them cleaned up. So I was stuck with them. I didn't own them, but they were sitting there. Right. So right. after a few years, I just got rid of them. Okay. So that was my first thing, is go up and cut all the trees, get them out of the trees. If you look at the pictures, you can see they're all shrunk down into a smaller area mm -hmm. and still shrinking. And that's the plan. Okay. Okay, well, if there's no other questions, I appreciate it. I have a couple of questions. So, so you have a, a, a location for your used car sales, and there would be a location, a fenced-in area for your salvage yard. What about vehicles and other things that are 
not either one of those locations. Will they then be removed from the property? What what vehicle? What well, I, I, well, there's like the buses, some of the buses there, there's stuff behind the buses, there's stuff behind the building. What about that kind of stuff? The, That's doesn't uh, fit into the salvage yard. Well, the stuff is what we've been cleaning up. We've been cleaning up. That's the, why the junk piling it to uh, you know the stuff that's not really like valuable metal. We've been taking over to Casella's transfer station, Lebanon tires down to Evergreen, Evergreen yep. and then either more ways or Hodgkins or any of the valuable metals. So any any stuff that's been lying on the ground, we've been going along. Picking that up, like you said, you said, cutting out the trees to get the stuff. You know, the uh, discarded leftover pieces from auto body repairs, bumper covers, and stuff like that. We call, I think, the Ranger Trailer loads one truck load. Bumper covers and just uh, miscellaneous, like plastic stuff, over to the transfer station. I don't know how many of those tires went down to everything. Yeah, I think you get rid of the tires. And when do you think you'll be done doing that? Well, one of the reasons well, the, the weather's kind of changing things up. I, I, I get it, but <laughs> it's one of the reasons all up to by the shop is such a mess because we need to clean out, separate, and stuff. You know, because like you say. You know, but, um, Thirty tires in the pickups, they can go to the Evergreens, and then they can take the small stuff like the bumpers. The dump don't take bumpers, I didn't know that. But there was plastic recyclable. But the seller, the transfer station, would take them. So I rented a dump trailer, put the chainsaw, got the ends off the bumpers, and packed them right in. So I got them up about the wooden sidewalk. Then I left them that way to pick up to hold them down in, put a chain up around them, fill the pickup bed up with them, took them over, it cost me $187, I think, to get rid of them. Uh, just a housekeeping piece. Um, I'm looking at the stipulated judgment order, um, item three. Um, the respondent that you uh, shall submit an application for a certificate of approved location to call to the town apartment. Have you provided a copy to the agency? Oh, it's yeah, a, it's, they ain't got nothing back from you guys. Well, your application has to go to them at this point. If I understand item three correctly, it says then provide a copy of the application to the agency. So the application that you gave us you know, you need to get a copy to them, it sounds like, to let them know that you're abiding by, you know, by that. Um, she, she was notified that it had been submitted, but I don't know the copy was sent. Yeah, I, I just want to, you know. Cover your tail. Yeah. Well, somebody's talked to us. We can talk to us. We, no, but this is between you and mm -hmm. doesn't. We won't help. We can't help you on this. It's got to. Yeah. You, you can just probably just email it to around. Well, you've got it. Well, you can you take a picture of it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it. Here, you can have it. You can have it. Take okay. my copy. I get it upstairs. Okay. So under... Yeah, well, you at least have a, a physical copy if you need it. On the third page, item three is what we're talking about. Okay. The, the other thing, you had been working with previous select boards on an agreement and how, how did that go? Were you in a, did you, I mean, never got signed or whatever. Did you agree with the stipulations of this agreement? Well, that's when, see, uh, Vincent told us we need to use car license. So we are trying to weigh the two. So then we chose to go with the used car license is why we stopped. Pursuing. Oh, so that's why you withdrew the right. 2021 so one. Right. And he's asking, did you agree with what the You agree board? with these stipulations? We said, sure, here, if you sign this, we'll be in agreement. Do you agree with the stipulations the in this one, agreement? The only well, one? Yes. The only one. 
Well, the, the original one, right? Well, I'm new on the board, so I don't know what old, new, old, original. Here, here's another one. You can have this one, too. They had spoken about downsizing. Correct. So we've been downsizing, and the size of the area is downsized. So we're kind of jumped ahead in agreement with that. So, so right, but this is... Let me see my, this is quite specific as far as what it says. So my, and I'm gonna make this motion after you leave is we're gonna hand you this set, this as a starting point and have you mark it up. We're gonna give you seven days to review this. Okay. okay. This is on what we talked about today? Or no, no, this is on no. the past board. Past. On the original. Mm -hmm. We just gave you a copy of this. I'm not suggesting this is what the board is gonna do. But we need a starting point here. Okay. You gotta have the used car lot and the cell uh, I'm talking about used oh, wait car. Minute, wait a minute. The used car lot and the salvage yard can't be together. This is not, this is only the salvage yard. It's only the salvage yard. Yes, this is yeah. only the salvage yard. Yeah. Right. yeah. But the salvage yard <laughs> that we have measured before is the used car lot now. Okay. Alan, you so, understand what I'm saying? So, right. The stipulations on the salvage yard, the conditions, on like recycling of fluids and stuff like that, which we're, again, we're not, if you go down to Hodgkins, are you familiar with Hodgkins? Absolutely. <laughs> I work with them. Okay. Trying to clean up their site. So, <laughs> you know, they're not even on the list in the state for being a salvage yard when you look at it. They're on the list of the state as being a brownfield site. They're okay. a hazardous waste site. They're not yeah. a salvage yard. Well, yeah, let's not go there. Anyways, let's check okay. it out. Yeah. But, so, okay, you see what that place looks yes. like. You see what we look like. There's a big difference. Absolutely. We're not, We're I'm not, not suggesting that. What, mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do is figure out a starting point yeah, but, to come to an agreement, if we can. Yeah. So the We're, uh, and, point of order. Right? Don't, don't we need, as a board, to figure out what our current absolutely, correct. absolutely but i'm just so trying to say you'll look right here in may i'm not saying that they have that this is going to be the final diagram what i'm trying to say is yeah. this has some specificity in it yeah, yeah. No, and whether we accept that specificity but we're not going to do it because come up with a new set of criteria and say right. here you go. So, yeah. far, so far everyone is correct yeah. um, this is and, going and, to and, parking and, lot basically well it, what i think we're asking is um, we'd like to have a dialogue together as we go through this process. That's why we're here today. Um, uh, Tom is suggesting you take a look at the document that the board was all ready to approve and sign back in November of 2021. Things changed, but some of these items in here are not relevant because the size is larger. But look at it and just sort of say, that doesn't work for yeah, that's okay. Um, and that feedback will go into our work as we develop a new document um, that reflects current size, current features of what's you know what what's being reduced and not reduced. An example of how we talk today about um, cars that are in kind of a staging area would that, that, that might be considered salvage until they get that front bumper or whatever, mm -hmm. they go behind the fence. Those kinds of things we can we can work out. Um, but it, it feels like we're we're launching the process today, and um, you know, just take a look at this and give us your feedback. Mm -hmm. um, Tom, uh, I think has a sound judgment. We only have 30 days to get all this done, so seven days, turn it around, and we'll be doing our homework in the meantime. Um, is that fit? Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you. Uh, That's just take a quick question of 30 days. Is it 30 days from today or 30 days from the day after today? today. So that day doesn't appear on today. Yeah. Thank you, Martin. You're welcome. Okay. I'd also like to check out whether or not we can have a continuance. We don't close the hearing. We have a continuance in zoning. The clock doesn't start to work. Yeah. Yeah, so again, like what we're saying with the continuance is, you know, we, we want, both sides have to feel comfortable with this. I mean, our job is to uh, keep the town uh, moving along, you know, and you know, we 
we don't want to be restrictive with business, but we do want to make sure that we're doing things correct according to state statutes. Um, so do you have a copy of the, uh, I, I have my copy here. Oh, yes. No, no, we already gave him one of those. No, no, we gave him the. Oh, the one? We gave him the. We gave him both. Oh, no, you can have that. That's fine. We gave him the call. So this was what the stipulations were last time. So please read those over. <coughs> the, obviously, on the front page, the, the the length and width is wrong. So just disregard yeah. that. But the second page is more of the stipulations that, that they're look, the board is looking to go up, uh, into detail with, please. And, and I want to make it really clear, we have not made a decision. So we just want to try to have a starting point. Well, the fence fight is very critical because, you know, I've started gathering up to fight and stuff, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's homework that we can do. Uh, and if you're talking to the state on this, you can ask questions about what is the appropriate fence. You know, so once once you come up with a fence, then the state's got to come up with a fence. Well, we'll be looking to do whatever the state requires. You know, yeah. and, and again, um, um, yeah, I think we're. But the state is going to want to turn into a real selfish yard. Right? We don't want a real selfish yard. Yeah, Dave, I made that comment to you before. I, you know, this is a two part process, and, you know, we're doing our best based on your request to, to do part one. And then, and then, um, then you're on your own with, with the state. I had a question about the document from the last time we did this that I read to you in the yard about. That was the town town plan you were setting. Yeah, yeah. That talked about uh, commercial and being able to have some outside storage of materials. So say we have steel pipe and stuff like that, like he's talking about, or the snow plow, or things like that. That I, you know, I think right. you stuff, stuff that is not a vehicle. Right. I mean, right. if it's leaning up against the back side of the building or something like right. that. I mean, yeah. Is that an issue? Um, what was the phrase you used that the town plan was? Uh, yeah, a guy. It's a policy doc. I, I think what's important is just to recognize you're on Route 12, and that you know shield stuff. That's all. Everybody, everybody has stuff. I mean, that's being living in Vermont. We all have stuff. So we're not suggesting. Not now, what we say and what the state say may be a little bit different, but. No, I mean, obviously, you need pipe. You may have to weld something. You have to, right. you know, but fabricate things. You fabricate things, right. You know, there used to be a blacksmith shop there. Right. right. But some right. people knew how to do stuff. We don't but know. We all know. We all know. know. When we drive by certain properties, you can tell people are just storing junk because they don't want to get rid of it, right? And that's not what we want to do. You have a business. Well, granted, it's a business. But we're an automotive business. Right. We're automotive people. Right. You know, we've got oil running through our veins. <laughs> you know? when, when you drive through, you just see a few cars. No. Yeah. So, you know, when they start looking down in the sky. So, okay, I well, think we should not close this public hearing, but have a continuous of the public hearing. Um, whatever is advisable in court. Well, and then if we're wrong, we're wrong, and then the 30-day clock ticks, but I think okay. you you can have public hearings, but if you were still looking for more testimony, we can continue it. Okay. Good. I'm gonna but I'm not a moving. junkyard ordinance. Salad yard. yard. I'm probably going to be moving some cars out of the area that we are talking about for a salad yard to get in there and get it organized so I can get in the builder fence. Great. You know, because in it, okay. that, that one row of cars, I've got a pile of light poles under the weeds and stuff there that i got to all move. Okay. So that would be some... So in between whenever we kind of get together, if there's any questions, please go to Martin. Um, and and uh, he'll... Do his best to guide you through whatever you know, kind of 
information, additional information is needed. And I'm sure you have contacts at the state that you've been working with. But and we'll make sure we move on, on our side. That's, that's, we'll move some of that so in the same way. Okay. Okay. So I'd like to make a motion that we continue this public hearing until our next select board meeting, which is June 24th. Is there a second? Uh, July 24th? July 27th. I think it's on that Thursday, yeah. 27th. July 27th. Okay. I'll second it. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, uh, that motion passes. One thing that's hindered us doing stuff, we had to get cameras because we've got a lot of convertor convertities. We had to get our street light updated. You know, was, we've been doing a lot. That's, you know. Um, okay. Uh, thank you both. Um, and and um, we'll be working together. Uh, okay. Um, I'm thinking, do we need to adjourn or the continuance? Yeah, yeah, we can just say we've adjourned. Amen. At this point. Yeah. How's that? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.